So the vector dA score is only good if we check it over time. So doing one score at, a, at an arbitrary time does not make a lot of sense. So you need to have a baseline score to know where you're beginning. And then you need to check the score periodically to know where you're going and what's happening with the changes in your treatment. So if I have somebody who has, a, say, a vector score of 60 and they drop down to 45, I know that they're getting good results from their medi uh, medication and that I don't perhaps need to change anything. If I see that they're at a 60 and they come back and they're no better in terms of their vector score, then I need to stop and think, maybe this is not the best treatment for them. So we will test a patient uh, ongoing, usually every few months or sometimes maybe every six months, depending on the clinical status of this individual. Uh, so changes over time are, uh, are important because, you know, again, the baseline um, of prior to treatment and assessing the response to treatment is one useful aspect. Uh, but also we know that the symptoms and, and, um, and inflammation associated with rheumatoid arthritis fluctuates over time, um, whether it's based on patient lifestyle factors and or compliance to treatment. Um, so it just gives us, I think, a broader and more certain picture of the status of a patient's uh, rheumatoid arthritis.